have Patrick Davey joining us, Kamloops Regional Prevention Manager, of course, with WorkSafe BC. Thank you for being here again, Patrick. Thank you for having me. So we're talking about, and I just did that weather forecast. It looks so nice. I feel weird talking about winter right now, but you do have to start thinking about it. We are moving into those cooler months and that shift of uh, weather pattern where we'll see that snow and, and all that on the roads. So as we move into that, I know that there's... Um, a lot of uh, safety tips that come with that and WorkSafe has, uh, has a shift into winter campaign. Maybe you can tell us a little bit, first of all, what that campaign is. Sure, sure. Every year we have a shift into winter campaign uh, about, that really is, initiates around the 1st of October and it's about right. reminding motorists and especially those who, uh, who drive for work okay. to plan ahead and get ready for the winter. We've already seen snow on the Coke. Uh, we've seen snow between Hunter Mile and Williams Lake. And hazardous conditions can, can come up on us fairly quickly. Statistic-wise, when we look at it on average, uh, 19 workers are killed. Wow. And over 1,373 are seriously injured during work-related crashes every year. Right. Um, we know that between October and December, speed-related crashes for workers doubles. You got to slow down. And we know that uh, for people that drive for work, the most dangerous uh, months of the year are November, December, and January because over 30% of all the work related crashes and injuries happen in those months. Really? Huh. Interesting. Um, what, when you say workers, uh, who are you talking about specifically? Like what kinds of drivers? I'm, I'm assuming it right comes to my mind is transport trucks. I know that we see a lot of those on the Coke. Yeah, you know, we think good drivers, bad drivers. It happens to everybody. We, we tend to think about transport truck drivers, yeah. like you're saying, but in our region, there's a lot of different people that drive for work, and that could be the transport drivers, it could be logging truck drivers, mm -hmm. we've got ranchers, we've got farmers, we've got from commercial, uh, from construction to uh, bus drivers, right. down to the people that, that delivered your, um, your pizza last night. True, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of people that drive You have work. to think about those pizza delivery drivers. Make sure they get there. Well, and they're driving late at night too, right? A lot of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Patrick, what can employers do, I guess, to, to step up their game? Because, you know, these are their workers. A lot of the time they can be responsible for what's happening at yeah. work. Uh, what are some of the steps they can take to make it safer for their employees? So, like every other hazard in the workplace. Employers are legally responsible to ensure they have programs and systems in place to recognize the hazards, uh, the risks, and put some kind of controls in place. And this is no different. So if you've got uh, workers uh, that drive for work, not to work, but to yes, for work, yes. you've got to have some programs, some policies in place that, that keep them a little safer. And I've got a few tips for you. I've got sure. uh, four of them. First one really is don't go. If hazardous conditions, um, if they're that, to that extent, you have to think, can you postpone that trip? Right. Next one really is planning your trips. Um, so do you have to go? Nowadays, can you uh, video conference, teleconference, email? Got to go to Vancouver and it's snotty on the Coke. Can you fly? If you do have to go, plan for it. Uh, check for weather and road conditions. Um, I used uh, um, drive... Drive BC. Drive BC yeah. all the time. That's a great one. Um, and I also use it in the summertime, when I, especially in wildfire season, when I'm thinking there's a road closure. Yeah. Or mudslides. Mudslides. Like yeah. You know, who knew? But if you're going, maybe give yourself extra time because you don't want to be rushing at that time of year, especially, mm -hmm. and have an emergency plan. Number three really is prepare your vehicle. If you were to go by some of the places that sell tires right now, they're busy. Make right. sure you have the right tires on because things can shift fairly quickly. Yeah. Have a preseason maintenance checkup. Uh, when it's snowing outside, it's not the time to be wondering if you've got antifreeze. Check your wiper blades. Check your, your, your summer antifreeze when you go to yeah, winter. You yeah. don't want it to freeze. Check a lot of things. And have you thought about cold stress? Well, that means if you break down someplace, are you ready for it? And finally, slow down um, yes, to drive conditions. A good one. Everybody's in such a hurry. Yeah. Um, but drive to, uh, even the most confident and, and um, you know, experienced people are at risk in challenging conditions. Mm -hmm. So slow down to and drive to road conditions. And really it's about that following distance. If you're following somebody, make sure you give yourself at least four seconds between that person in front of you. So count those seconds. Mm -hmm. You think it's not so much the dif distance, 
it's the time period you have. If you have to stop, if they stop suddenly, can you stop? Great. Yeah. Good tips. Thanks, Patrick. Um, shifted to winter.ca is a website that people can go to for more information. And then, of course, worksafebc.com. Appreciate that. So there's more. There's lots of information there, where there be uh, winter driving safety online courses, lots of resources, not just for drivers, but for employers, employers yeah. and uh, commercial truck drivers. So there's a lot of good stuff. And you know what? Look at that weather. We need to get ready. Good. Great tips. Thanks, Patrick. We'll Thanks. check in with you next month. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll be right back. Stay with us on Midday.